Hi everybody and welcome to this lesson on creating our step function. So up until now we have created the Amazon recognition containers, we've created our backend through the CloudFormation template. Next let's we're going to create our initial AWS step functions state machine. So the first thing we want to do is as you guys can see you can use any text editing that you want. I use Sublime and we're going to use this writer photo share state machine JSON. It's basically a simple JSON that's going to detect the face and make sure that it meets the requirements in terms of it not being blurry. A couple of things you want to note is in the, res in the resource, you want to make sure that you put the ARN of your specific resource. So if you go back into our AWS console, in our CloudFormation stack that was just launched, you will have an output section and in the output section it will give our Amazon resource numbers or names for all of these key functions that have been launched to this CloudFormation template. So first we want to do is we want to grab the face detection ARN and plug that in here for face detection. Next thing we want to do is for this last one for the photo does not meet requirement we want to send them a notification and that's this placeholder function. So for so you want to copy this and make sure we paste that here. And we're going to save this file as writer-photo-state-machine.json. And I've also included that in the download section so you can simply download the file and just make sure that you change these two ARNs to whatever the output in your AWS account has been done when you launch the CloudFormation template. So after we do that, next thing we want to do is create the step function. So we're going to go into the services and go into the step functions dashboard. Now, if you have not used this before, you'll get the same exact screen where you can go to get started and we'll create our first state machine. So for the name, we're going to call it Rider Photo Processing. And what we want to do is we want to copy this code and paste that in here. Once we do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And for the IAM role, we want to choose an existing one because IAM roles were created through the CloudFormation template. And this role was should already have been created if the template was launched properly. The step module resources state machine role. So we want to make sure that this is selected. And we want to click on create state machine. So here's where we can specify the execution. Now each execution of a step function state machine has a unique ID. So you can either specify one when starting the execution or have the service generate one for you in the where it says the enter execution name. So one thing to do is make sure for the S3 bucket you want to go back into your cloud formation and in the output section find where it says the writer photo S3 bucket. So you want to copy this ARN and make sure that's the one referencing your S3 bucket. And then we're going to go ahead and click on start execution. There you guys go. As you guys can see that the, these executions have been successful. So that means our first step function is working properly in terms of that them uploading photos and ensuring that the faces are recognizable and that they are not blurry.